Hey guys, Big Daddy Hoffman 1911. Let's rock and roll. All right, here we go. Man, what's on the table? We got the controversial little shorty shotguns, or I'm sorry, firearms. Or others. Or others, they are others. <laughs> so we got the 590 Shockwave from Mossberg, and we've got that Opsole uh, little mini shell adapter in there, so you can shoot those. Uh, you don't need that for this one. This was the 870. This is the TAC-14. They're pretty much identical, uh, sort of. They've got that bird's head grip. They're, they're a little bit different. This one's a little bit more textured. Um, and this one does have the, the Magpul uh, furniture on it. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of cool. This one's going to hold one more round. So this is going to be a totally subjective uh, review. We're just going to shoot them both and see what see what we think. Which one uh, we like better? They're, you know, if you're are you a Remington guy or a Mossberg guy, or both, or both. Yeah, I think we're both. Yeah, for sure. I like all all shotguns. Yeah, they're too. Yeah. All right, we're gonna run the mini shells. We're gonna put some of this bad bad to the bone D duplex through there. Uh, we're gonna run some standard bird shot, and uh, we've already shot this one. Uh, it's got the dual action bars. You got your safety up here. Uh, one of the one of the complaints, not really a complaint or a criticism. It is universal, but because of this bird head grip, some guys are getting bit right there. I think uh, in in the video we did, Big Daddy got cut right there. Um, I don't remember that. Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, it's no fun unless you bleed. The action on this one is way smoother. Yep. Way smoother. Another step. Yeah, this one is this the uh, the release is up here. Not as smooth, but we haven't shot this one yet. All right. But it does have a Magpul furniture on it, so it has to be cool, right? Yeah. yeah. You got some M-lock slots there, so you can put a light on it if you want. Your safety's back here. This one does have. This is a little bit different. This has uh, got a, a paint of some sort, maybe like a like a KG gun coat or some sort of Cerakote, rather than straight bluing. I don't I don't know if that's better or not. You know? I don't know. I'm a, I'm a blued kind of guy myself, but uh, we're going to shoot this one because we've already shot this one, and we're going to see what we think. Okay, I want you to shoot one of these one-handed. Okay. Well, you know what we could do? We could do one in each hand. Would that be that, that, that would, would be do. impressive? Would you like that, to see that? That would do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we can try that. All right, let's load them up. All right. All right, four plus one. We're going to start out with some uh, birdshot here. It does have a little uh, colored follower, fluorescent, so you can kind of see. One, two, three, four, five. Eh. I really wish it had one more. That would be a lot cooler. So we got four plus one. Okay. All right. Let's do it. All right. What are we going to shoot? Uh, let's just shoot this uh, torsos right there. All right. All right. Let's do it. Here we go. Your hand does have a tendency to want to climb forward on this. Yeah. Uh, it could be. I, I like that strap on the Mossberg. You gotta make sure you don't shoot your thumb off. Yeah, that, that could be a problem. <laughs> it would be bad. Huh. All right, go ahead. Okay, let me try this Remington. Okay. And put it on red. You're dead. Here we go. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. These things are fun. Yeah. They did they jump around a little bit though, you know? Yeah. But I'm not bleeding this time. Yeah. 
you know I like it I do think it's way more comfortable this little bird head than the pistol grip you think I think so personally yeah the action action could be a little smoother but maybe over time maybe it's that coating that they put on it yeah probably is it feels better already yeah let's put some nasty stuff through it <laughs> <laughs> let's do it we're uh we're gonna keep it fair because we shot some of the deduplex out of the shock wave this one is the uh the 440 grain solid and this is for these are hunting rounds but uh, they'd make seriously sweet self-defense rounds 440 grain yeah i think we shot this one before the 495 grain but uh there we go you're gonna yeah. like the way you feel shoot this yeah and that's what it looks like it's designed for hunting to kind of go through barriers, tree branches, those kinds of things. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a pine tree back there and, <laughs> and I like to take that. All right. All let's right. Just, let's shoot the gong with this. Okay, let's do it. You're going to shoot it one handed? Not. Not. Well, maybe the last one we'll try left one handed. Okay. Okay. Just kind of see where it's at. All right. You all ready? Right. Here we go. A little bit different. I didn't really aim that one. Good gosh. Yeah. All right, last one. You ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that ejected itself. That one came back on you. Oh, yeah. I don't recommend that. <laughs> no, yeah. no. I'll tell you what, people be going to church where that gong was ringing, you know that? That action's smoothing up a little bit. It ought to after that. Yeah, that stuff is no joke. That is nasty. You hear the way it was, I don't think I've ever heard that gong ring like that. I was heading towards the bottom, that may be the sweet spot for it. Yeah, maybe. I would not want to get shot with that. Mm -mm. Okay. All right, so look at this brand new box of the Aguila mini shells apparently they found some more unicorns to grind up to put in there this is like the most sought after shotgun shells but as I understand it they are uh, ramping up production so uh, we did shoot the mini shells out of the shockwave so we're gonna shoot it out of here now that opsole little $10 ramp right there that you, you don't need one of those for the uh, to shoot the mini shells. Right. I mean, these guys are awesome. They're out of Texas. We probably need to check on them. You know. Yep. Great guys. Uh, if you have a if you have a Mossberg and you want to shoot the mini shells, you definitely need this little guy right here. We'll put a link to that in the description. All right. But let's see how many mini shells we can get in here. And these come in all different kind of flavors. You can get buckshot. These are these are uh, birdshot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. That's cool. Yes. That's a lot better than four in the bottom absolutely okay ready all right i'm ready mini shell time okay now these guys are actually made by midgets is that right <laughs> i don't know about that yeah mini oompa loompas uh, do what oompa loompas <laughs> with with the unicorn dust yeah i'll probably get some slack from that one right probably yeah okay that's okay here we go Little midget. <laughs> Here we go. I think you're short stroking it. I think I'm short stroking, yeah. I didn't then. I'm out. Baby shells. I think I'm going to hold it like this so they eject better. How's that? Okay.
There you go. <laughs> so what you're saying is, to to make those cycle right, you need to hold it gangster style. I guess that's what it is. Okay. That's all right. Yeah. We can live with that. We're going to try this for the grand finale, I guess. We're going to try uh, dual wielding him with the deduplex. Okay. This should end well. <laughs> it might not. Okay. All right. Well, if you can do it, I can do it. For sure. Your life insurance paid up. How about your homeowner's insurance? All right, you ready? I'm ready. Oh! <laughs> I think it's your turn. You know what? I think you need to step it up a little bit, Big Daddy. I did the 440 grain dual wielding. I think you should try the 495 grain. All right, I'll do it. All right. I mean, you are a you are a YouTube legend after all. Yeah, right. Probably the last time you see me, guys. <laughs> Alright, switch. I don't know about this. It's kind of like elder abuse. Yeah. Well, you don't have to do this. This is for all the old people out there. And if insure guys see this, if you want to sponsor me, I'm game. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Alright. One-handed. What grain is this? 495 grains. 495. Here we go. get you some of this <laughs> this is hard to do <laughs> how about that there you go yep did both of them go off yep dang here they both they both went off buddy let me put that right there <laughs> uh oh <laughs> did you see what I did yeah yeah, let's pick that shell up. Okay. Yeah. I had to cheat a little bit. Let's see. That was a little midget shell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not stupid enough to do that other. All right, guys, you got to see them both. And I guess it doesn't make any difference if you're a Remington guy or a Mossberg guy. These things are pretty cool and a lot of fun. So, anything else, Jason? I agree 100%. Yeah, so... Whatever one you can find. Yeah. They are a little bit hard to find some places, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram. Um, check me out on Full 30. And uh, what else? Keep out the fight against gun control. Join and support the NRA. And as always, remember, Big Daddy loves you. Hoorah. Take care, guys.